David Brewster here to talk about Hawk Picks. Rob reached out to me on Facebook um, almost five years ago, and it was my birthday. He randomly asked, you know, if I'd like to try, you know, a couple samples of his picks, and I said, sure. And uh, I guess I forgot that he was in England, and I totally forgot about it. They showed up in the mail, I took them with me, um, and just kind of, you know, put them in my bag, and I took them out and I started using them that day. And I was like, whoa, you know, it's amazing. I actually still have. Uh, the original pick, uh, one of the original picks that Rob sent me, and you can see it's kind of all uh, scratched up and been uh, used and abused. But I still have that pick, and that's almost five years old. That's unheard of. I don't have, you know, five-year-old picks laying around, you know, unless they're in the pick collection back here. I definitely want to thank Rob and Mark and everybody associated, you know, with Hawk Picks over, uh, you know, across the pond. Um, but have a happy holidays, and definitely check out Hawk Picks. These are the greatest, you know, most resilient, uh, tone enhancing picks I've ever seen or had the privilege to use. So, uh, yeah, brew house my nickname. So anyway, uh, happy holidays and thanks. Thanks Hawk Picks and thanks to everyone uh, for watching and uh, rock on.